So we have now finished our playthrough of Unrailed. We're now off the rails completely. You have fun? Yeah, it's fine. It's better than the other one? Yeah, since it's giving me some reaction when I try to move. Yeah, it's so faster than Pete people. Yeah, of course. You feel stressed? Yeah. And then when the train gets too many, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's hard to pick out the right one. But I know... Since I'm the one place them, I know where they are. And that's my job. Yeah, since I you. put you to being a lumberjack or a <laughs> miner. Yeah. But I thought you did a lot better. Really? I on. just focus on chop, 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 chop. Yeah. Well, you can pick up things also. And place into the train. And uh, kill bandits. And uh, avoid getting shot by the Mars cannons. And yeah, that is a small thing, but I still get shot many times. I mean, it's better than when you just started, of course. Really? I'm a good kid? Ah, uh, good kid. Well, we completed it. So far, this is the hardest game we've tried to <laughs> complete together, so... Uh. But I thought the game itself is pretty satisfying. And I feel this background music is like... Uh, after I'm done with the game, I still can hear. <laughs> yeah. Anything you want to say about the game? It's okay game, but is it just for two people play together? You can be four people, up to four from what I see. Hmm. But we don't have that many people. You cannot play by yourself? Uh, it's mainly supposed to be a cooperative game uh, from what yeah. I understand. You can like go into the online lobby mm. to get more people than you just get random people. Mm. I'm not sure if you can do like with AI. Mm. And I'm not even sure if you can do it alone completely. I didn't check this part. But if you do it alone, then it's too messy. You don't have time to do then it. Then you have to do everything. Yes. But I guess they would slow down the train also. Mm. Because uh, the more people you have, the faster the train goes. And you said you choose the easy mode. But yeah. It's, uh, I didn't feel it easy just already. affects how fast the train goes. Everything else is just the same. The difficulty might come in. Uh, by the way it uh, generates the level. Sometimes you get completely fucked by how it generates the level. Like just to put a mountain in front of you so you have no place to go. Mm, yeah. So it can be... Uh, or like the bandits... No, no time to open our way. Sometimes the first level just have bandits in front of you. Other times it's just stuck behind some trees or something. Mm. And sometimes it just doesn't put water anywhere near you. So you have to burn for a while before you can even get there. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of luck of the draw. I can't imagine like uh, trying to do this on the hardest difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, like, uh, oh, you just get fucked by the uh, by the luck of the draw, so to say, how it generated it. Sometimes you're just for sure dead. But then we have made many mistakes throughout this also. Mm -hmm. Like when you first get into this game, knowing nothing, if you didn't do any research, you're gonna die a lot. Like a lot, a lot. We died a lot. Mm, yeah. But uh, you learned also, trial and error a bit, what works. But then uh, I read on the wiki also, because the winter level was very hard, knowing nothing about it. You just get stuck everywhere. But uh, you can use the bucket. If you're holding the bucket, then uh, water melts immediately beneath your feet. Just it is not really enough. Then you cannot really um, so easily carry things back and forth because you always need to have the bucket. So the best solution is just to have uh, that uh, light wagon with you and uh, upgrade as much as possible and uh, try to get the one uh, improve the wagons next to it also to make it just as powerful as possible. Then you can melt the whole map pretty much and have no trouble. Mm. So the easiest way we tried some different things like we tried to skip to next biome as quickly as possible but it's not really so good because then you cannot get the good wagons and then we try to stay in one level as long as possible which is way better mm, yeah you want to challenge the harder mode no no <laughs> i feel the game is hard enough yeah as it is. Even uh, during this last playthrough, we died a lot. We even had some plan about how to do when it's going well, and then some meteor just uh, blow up uh, our rail and ground. Then we're just immediately dead. And that's before I realized that uh, the oxygen bubble also blocks the meteorite. So it should have been at the front. But then you have to do that. Then you have to know, oh, 
at that point when you're going to into space you should switch the water tank to the front because it's for turn into oxygen tank if for me i was still don't know so you have to do some research about how how to play the game the most optimal strategy so people watch us play this and actually know what you're supposed to do in this game is going to be super frustrated about how many times we just do Stop. the wrong thing mm. we do a misplay yeah we but they don't really know do if something the wrong stupid. thing uh, until we try it yeah well they might have completed the game already mm. if it's like that or you actually check the wiki oh this is in the wiki yeah a lot of games have uh -huh. but throughout playthroughs I on purpose don't check the Wikipedia uh -huh. until uh, I actually need to, to like complete the game in a reasonable time, so mm -hmm. to say. It wouldn't be a compelling playthrough if for several months in the future we're just exploding over and over again. And this is our life now. Our yeah. life is unrailed. <laughs> our life completely off the tracks. Really? At, at that point. Oh, that point. So this is your, uh, more your type of game? Yeah. Uh, at least I didn't see others yet. Uh, better than the last one. Ah. Uh. Mm. Need to be reasonable, speedy. Mm. Yeah, and then uh, there are some frustrations about the game, of course, at least for me. Mm. And that's the controls are very fiddly. You always pick up the wrong thing. Yes, yes. And if there's a lot of material around, you cannot even put down something if it's uh, too much in a stack or something. Yeah. And all the time, this is just fucking us over and over again. And I don't know if I have something in my hand because yeah. I don't see. Well, the characters are pretty small. Yes. So once there's too much uh, uh, the train, uh, the train too too many there, then I can see too much. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, since you're stressed at the same time, and then you're t picking up the wrong thing over and over again, you're trying to get the wood out of the converter, and you get the iron instead, and like that. At that point, you might just want to fucking break your controller. And I don't know about the longevity of the game and the replayability. You can continue playing to unlock characters. But each level, each time, they will give you different ones. Yeah, it's all different every time. Uh -huh. Well, there is... Com no, I'm not saying compared to each level. I'm just saying, like, now we play the this long meters. If we play again, same easy mode, it will give us different thing each level. Well... Compared to last one. The actual positions of everything is different since it's randomly generated. Uh -huh. Or procedurally generated so they have an algorithm oh, about yeah. how it should uh, be created but then it's uh, in that mode it's always going to be like oh you go from the plains you go to the desert after that and then uh, the snow and everything like that is the same mm. but the wagons you get and the placement of everything might change mm. so if you're lucky in the first level you can buy like the milk wagon and if you're lucky after that you can get the cow and lucky that you get a camel in the deficit level also and just power up on milk because this game is powered by milk if you get milk you're doing good like it makes the game so much easier if you have the milk wagon but why later we don't have milk at all? the camel exploded in space uh, so they will never give us one more. Yeah, and there's no camels in space, of course. So you only get the cows in the plains, the first biome. Mm. After that, in the desert, you can get a camel. And in the snow level, you can get a walrus. And that's the three uh, things you can milk. After that, you don't get any more. So the recommended way to... I mean, the more optimal way to play this would be... First of all, try to get the milk wagon. And then uh, keep playing the plains until you get a cow. And then... Uh, go to the desert, keep playing until you get a camel there, and you get the light, and you also get the booster wagon. That way you can melt absolutely everything in the snow level, and then just continue. Mm. And after that you can just get whatever you want. I, I didn't try the dynamite so much, but I thought it was pretty effective, if you have the time to spare, to or the iron to spare, to produce dynamite. Because you're gonna get a lot of material after that, since you can blow up a lot, but then you'll have to be pretty strategic about it like cut it down into a mountain and then place it in the middle mm. so you can get as much as possible and hey, we barely use that right? yeah because we got it at the space level right too late huh? yeah and uh, in the space level it's a bit harder to use because you cannot put it in space in the air you have to have ground to place it making it harder so and then before you when you transition to the space level in this optimal strategy, you're supposed to put the oxygen wagon at the front. 
like as far front as reasonable so you can protect your front rails from the meteors mm. and get your oxygen bubble closer to where you're actually working and then the milk wagon needs to go to the absolute last spot so that the animals don't get disconnected. Because if they're at the side, then uh, when you're building across with bridges, no space for the camel to follow it, then they will get disconnected from your train. Then you don't get milk anymore. Mm. So it needs to follow the train behind it, not by its side. Very likely you should always place it at the absolute back. Like so you have at the back milk, then water instead uh, so that they're always behind it because then it's easier to access the milk from the sides also to mm -hmm. dash into it. If we play this again, we will probably do a lot better. You want to play this again? I don't know. That's uh, like the actual point to continue playing. This is not so much. Unless yeah. you actually want to, oh, you want to reach the high score mm. or you want to play the other modes with people. Mm. There is a few different game modes like uh, Versus mode is where you can uh, fight against each other instead. Ugh, not very friendly. Yeah, likely this is not a good idea for us to do that. Yeah, not at all. We're more of the cooperate together more than try to kill each other. And then time, you, I guess, get a time limit. And then endless is what we're doing. It's like the normal mode here. Mm -hmm. We go until the end. And in order to get end credits, you have to collect all the, all the golden uh, bolts. Not the actual yellow ones, the one that's a bit more orange and looks different from the other screw things. Like it could be a cup. Every biome has one and you need to collect all of them to reach the credits to actually complete the game. If you miss one, then tough luck, you're not completing the game, even if you continue. Then you're just stuck doing Mars forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's fun for a playthrough, I would say, but it's still the same thing over and over again. I guess it kind of depends. If you like this game loop, then it's pretty fun. And you can always get other people, or more people, or uh, just random people to get different experience. Because it's gonna vary a lot depending on who you play with, and yeah. how good they are. Not good. Well, I guess it's better to go with people you know. <laughs> if people you don't know who play with you. Well, random people. And I can imagine a lot of people will get frustrated a lot. Yeah. And uh, tell you to fuck off and go kill yourself or something. <laughs> because you're too bad or you did some mistake. So you better have someone that can tolerate. But it's important to have some kind of plan very quickly. As we realized at a certain point, we realized we could just pause it to make a strategy. So we don't have to just randomly do because the train is starting soon. So we don't have time to talk about what to do and we're mm -hmm. too busy. Too so just to pause at the beginning of every level to make a plan. And then just continue. But when you pause the map, everything is not so clear anymore. Yeah, but uh, clear enough that you can actually make something. So that's pretty much it. Music good, yeah, I like it. Story, no story here. Yeah. Well, Good is no story, then I don't need to read. Yeah, there's no reading. You have no idea what's going on. You're just building a rail. And uh, through playing out, out the game, you can realize, oh, you build a rail from Earth to a Mars station okay. or something like that. You don't need a story here. This is just a fun distraction. Anything else you want to say? No. And we'll see you all in the next game. What do you think about Unrailed? Do you have any thoughts? Leave in the comments. Do you like this video? Like it? Do you freaking hate it? Then leave a dislike and tell us how much we suck. And that will be all. See ya!